In this video, we are really going to discuss about how I'm really going to make the face mask, about what is my actually planning to really how to really design it, how to implement the architecture, how to implement the structure, what are the uh, current scenario and the challenges uh, to learn uh, and to proceed regarding it. Am I really completely prepared or not? To and we are really going to discuss uh, and answer the uh, question step by step in the manner. So. Hey guys, my name is Rahul Ayer and I am from Pune. This is a really series on the making of face mash. I'm really going to make face mash uh, and posting videos on this channel. So if it really sound interesting, consider subscribing this channel. And so let's continue. So um, in the last two videos, I have really discovered about, I've really discussed about how I really actually uh, learn all that kind of, all that thing and why I really started my own YouTube channel. In this video, I'm really gonna uh, discuss about the aspects and the uh, particular thing that is really required for me in order to uh, implement my idea into actual reality. So the first thing that is probably, uh, that I'm really gonna uh, want to say is that I'm really gonna using the full stack Mona application so if anyone is out there in the python um, i'm sorry but but majority of the thing which you will really see on this channel is really applicable in same or the other way but you have to really use your own um, creativity and thoughts regarding it so if you are really into javascript full stack learning so and this then this project will be also really helpful for you so and don't really copy paste each and everything that i'm really uh they i will be really saying to you so because this channel is really motive uh, this the motive of this channel is to really get out of the own tutorial purgatory and really uh, start your own projects and i'll actually be posting this uh, theoretical kind of video and also the practical uh, coding tutorials also uh, and pretty much all that kind of thing yeah so what is face mash right in order to really make the face mash we really need to define it properly so the face mash is generally the thing which mark zuckerberg made in in its initial college stage and is it really that uh, is are so am i really doing that only the two comparison thing mm, the answer is no so uh, my intention is to really make it a fully frigid uh, social networking app where people can rate people, uh, I mean, rate each other and just really if anyone wants to communicate with each, they can just go out there. So what I'm really actually trying to do is really uh, pick certain f features from the uh, Facebook, pick certain features from Instagram and pick uh, and take some features from the hey, uh, Tinder and just mix them together and really make a modern and unique uh, face smash site together so uh, initial stage when you really start to really make something out there is really uh, you really figure out what is the uh, problem regarding it so initially what I'm really currently uh, trying to do is uh, to really uh, frame the problem of what I really want to do is like <clears throat> I'm sorry especially in the ui design and especially uh, to what i really want to design what i really want to uh, implement it what i really want to just uh, uh, what are the essential features that i want to design out there so uh, so we are really going to uh, go into step by step process uh, yeah so initially we are really going to what we are really going to do is to just uh, design a uh, prototype in adobe xd and to really transform it into a front-end web app by using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and then convert and then uh, really making it into the uh, JavaScript framework like React which, because that is the only thing that I really know. Uh, if you want to really do in Angular or Vue.js, that's completely fine. Uh, and, and later on, and implementing the back-end architecture. So this is a really a uh, brief like 10,000 feet overview. So what I'm really going to do is really like uh, additional thing which I really want to discuss about it's like how am I really going to do it? Like Because 
the face mash is really going to contain a bunch of individual cool stuff like uh, suppose uh, suppose like the crud application uh, crud operation like the contact manager the socket.io's uh, chat uh, chat application in the uh, way and also the database storage like mongodb but instead of using the mongodb and we are really going to use all the all kind of aws solutions out there uh, like document db or dynamo db uh, and using the ec2 cloud instance uh, quite frankly even i am not aware of all the services uh, and even i really uh, want to learn out there it's like so apart from what i have really discussed in the earlier video there are really more things even right now that i have really uh, that i really will learn during the as uh, this journey goes forward uh, so the first thing is like uh, to really make to really come up with the first ui uh, about as i really mentioned that like what i really want to uh, implement in, into it what i what is the really key feature what is the ui what is the really uh, what is the color and what is the font like uh, you, what the user design should be that people will really like it people will really uh, people will really tend to stay on that site for more longer time and this uh, face mash site is actually focused more to the college student uh, yeah so what will be one factor or many factors uh, which will really make this site more influential more influenceable to the people out there so am i really uh, i'm really thinking of uh, to really combine all that kind of stuff into it so the first thing actually i have done to uh, to really come up with this is like i, I have really watched the brain games and mindfield by vsauce uh, now you might be asking like uh, what is the relation of uh, brain games and all that kind of brain games and vsauce uh, actually there is a little bit uh, by watching all those stuff you really can get a brief knowledge about how our brain and our psychology works uh, what is the thing that uh, human actually tend to really uh, desire and get pleasure from what is actually a uh, hooking factor which really keeps uh, which keeps really you and me glued to the social networking apps like facebook instagram what really contains uh, what is that addicting feature that that really makes the social networking site so addictive to them uh, yeah you really got my point i i guess so the next thing i really learned is about marketing marketing is really uh, and also the brief uh, brief piece about really how i learned the psychology what people really wants uh, how how can we really influence people to really try our services what is the fundamental thing about uh, how human mind works and and it's really vast detailed topic so if you really want to learn it uh, although although it really doesn't directly correlate with the web development of what i'm doing but it is certainly going to uh, help me out right now so the next thing about designing uh, of making the design out there uh, is like uh, i have really watched the design critic of the future channel uh, essentially what they do is really just uh, they re uh, they review bunch of uh, freelance project and they really uh, analyze which is uh, how this project is good how this project is bad how can it be much more better what were the downfall and what is the uh, what is the kind of thing so the next thing i really uh, trying to study is adobe xd uh, I think I'm really gonna. Uh, I'm. I will really take generally take a uh, five to ten days to learn it, and the next uh, ten days to implement my idea, uh, to really come up with a prototype design. And during that phase, I will also be live streaming about uh, how I will how uh, what is my thought process, what is my actually uh, uh, intent purpose, and all that kind of stuff. So you can also actually get benefit from it. The next thing is like when you really uh, have make the uh, UI. So the UI really actually comes in a uh, two for, two uh, form factor. It's like one is making f uh, for 
uh, website i mean the desktop the next is for tablet and there is small uh, mobile application i mean mobile apps so in short to making the ui responsive out there so uh, we really need to create a three ui aspect in uh, adobe xd as it doesn't support the responsive layout uh, therefore we need to create a three different file format out there so the next uh, uh, thing is like actually implementing the ui design into actually uh, front end coding with html css and uh, front end framework like react in order to really uh, make our uh, front end much more faster and reliable out there so and the next thing which is like uh, framing the problem statement for the backend architecture now the backend architecture itself is really a vast topic about uh, how the systems are designed how ola uber whatsapp actually really design their backend to really handle such a huge request and such and with such a great efficiency uh, this is really whole topic which I am uh, even not fully aware right now. Uh, this video is just about really giving you a reference about what I'm really actually gonna do. So I'll also really come up with that video or uh, later words uh, as I really finish my the front end coding part and then and then as I really start to begin with the back end, I'll I'll be really posting videos regarding it. So uh, if you are really curious uh, to know about uh, how the Ola, Uber and all that uh, companies do really make the system, you can really check out the GKCS or also known as the Gaurav Sen and uh, Tech Dummies by Narendra L. The link is always in the description below. You can go and check that out. And they really make the bunch of cool uh, study uh, and implement the final design into code and learning the aspect of AWS, Socket.io, DynamoDB and the AWS SDK and deploying the site and testing all that features. We are really going to also implement the payment gateways, the JWT token, uh, authentication token, the uh, express router, DOM manipulation, I mean every possible way we can really make it a uh, complex project in in a really simplified manner so so this was just the thing that i really want to discuss for uh, right now and what i really uh, what i'm really be doing is for the next uh, 15 to 20 days is just to uh, i'll be really learning the ui designing and then i'll be live streaming every day uh, about what is my actually purpose what is my actually thought process uh, and pretty much out there so if you like this video, consider subscribing this uh, channel. So we really post two videos every week. So if that really sounds cool to you and if you really like making face mash, consider subscribing this channel and make sure to share this video on every other platform. So see you next time and have a good day.